Hey, I'm Jesse from the Healthy Transformation. If you're looking for a 20 minute guaranteed to sweat workout for beginners that is very easy to follow, join me and come get a little sweaty. Okay, welcome to this 20 minute super beginner rolling hills workout that is not only going to burn some calories, but it's guaranteed to make you sweat. We're gonna start off here with four minute warm up and I'm just starting at about a five. I'm giving myself a little bit of resistance. The reason why is because nobody wants to have like basically no resistance and be bouncing around in the saddle. It's not much of a warm up. Look at how I'm, my legs are going. It's really, really tricky. So I always tell people add a little bit of resistance. So just notice how everything, and it's all about my consistent pedal stroke. So I've created a whole playlist with Jason that goes over absolutely everything you can think of. Bike setup, uh, nutrition, clothing that I'm wearing, Lululemon, sweat wicking, description down in the description box. Uh, yeah. So if you're completely new here and wanting to get started with spin, we have you covered. And I guarantee you, in this short 20 minute workout, you're going to sweat. It is really hot in this room, and a minute in, I'm already sweating. So, here we go. Okay, so we're a minute and a half into our 20 minutes. It's very easy, and in 25 seconds, I'm gonna turn it up to a six, and then I'm gonna go to a seven. And then we're just gonna hang out at the seven till the four minutes is done and get into the workout. The workout is quite simple. It's a minute interval and then another minute interval times six. And what I'm gonna do is slowly pick it up and then slowly go down. And slowly pick it up and slowly go down. And when we're picking it up, we're increasing resistance. And when we're going down, we're decreasing resistance but creating faster legs. So, okay, just up a bit, so I'm on a six. Always remember to hydrate. Yes, healthy AF brand you can buy on this YouTube channel. Remember to hydrate. Usually, what I say is a sip every five minutes, four minutes. You know, if we're doing a spin class, usually it's every song. Uh, a bottle of class is usually what I say. 20 minutes, not so much. It's more of like a 40 minute class. So I should get through about half, half of this. Okay, a little bit more. We're on that seven now. Getting a little bit of resistance. Definitely feeling it in the legs. And this will just complete our walk. Also remember to breathe. I've got so many spin classes where they're like not really breathing. And remember, if you ever feel faint or dizzy, Get off the bike. Listen to your body. Trust me, listen to your body. Okay, 10 seconds left here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is we're slightly going up that hill. So I'm at about a seven and a half and eight right now and just keeping it consistent. Notice this is more indoor cycling. Notice how my body is very, very loose. Slight bend in my elbow and no death grips. I'm not sitting here with this, you know? It's just like very, very loose on the shoulders and just a consistent pedal stroke where I'm going up, I'm going down. I'm going up, I'm going down. We're getting a full leg workout, quads and hamstrings. Okay, 
10 seconds left here. Okay, I'm gonna roll it a little bit. Pick up that pedal stroke and just get a little bit faster. If you're paying attention to the RPMs, repetitions of how many times you go around, Right now I'm on a 95. I was going 70 on the way up, 70, 75, and now I'm on a consistent 95 uh, RPS. Or cadence, whatever you want to get. Okay, 10 seconds left here. And then we'll pick it up again. Very easy, simple to follow is the key. Okay, turn it back up to a seven. So if you're new here, consider subscribing, hitting the bell down below, and then you'll be notified when any new workouts come out. We plan to, over the summer, release videos every uh, weekend, uh, jump rope on Saturdays, and spin on Sundays. Uh, when we get into September, beyond and beyond and beyond, we plan to re release more and more videos, but consistently every Saturday and Sunday, no matter what. Okay, 15 seconds left here. Again, I'm at that. 75 or so. Two, one. Okay, turn it down. Get to about a five. Pick up the weights. Spin, you'll notice that my blue shoes are pretty much stuck to the pedals. Well, they are SPD shoes. Later on down the road, I'm going to do one legged drill workouts. And with those one legged drills, you need to be clicked in or have a toe cage to be able to pull, pick the, uh, the pedal up. So stay tuned for those. So all we're doing is rolling hills up and down, up and down. Five 
five seconds up here. Okay, turn it back up. Bring it back down, double stroke. I'm just watching the computer on my bike. It's helping me with my cadence or repetitions around. So if you're at home and something feels a little funny with the way that you're sitting or your knees are too close, we've created videos for that. So just go to our beginner setup. We just released it. It's connected to this playlist and it will help you to get set up. So three, two, one. Ready to go. Bringing up that pedal speed. Usually I'm the one behind the camera, so for a change, I'm now the one in front of the camera. Uh, but I wanted to focus on a playlist where the experts from all the fields that we're in, primarily spin and jump rope, are coaching other people. Okay, taking it up, back up to a seven, and video that I do, I'm going to have a different trainer coaching or piping in uh, just to add more relevancy to the topic and to help with the viewers at home so it's not just me, it's everybody that I work with as well. sitting on a, on a spin bike wasn't enjoyable. But we raised about $3,500 for charity, so I was happy about that. Three, 
do okay, take it down. Bring up that pedal speed. So if you're wondering like if you've got good posture on the bike, we created a playlist for that. Uh, if you're wondering uh, how to sit or or if you're noticing that you're getting pains in certain areas, where to put your head because you don't want to get cycling like this the whole time. Should have it, you know, like you leave a three feet ahead of you. Uh, it's a good head position. Also, notice how I'm like soft. And I'm, it's almost like I'm holding eggs or trying to. One thing I always do is sometimes do this, it's a little slippery because I'm sweating. But as long as you're not going completely white knuckle to make this, is a good uh, way of testing it. So I'm just going to this. Uh, I always tell people when they're first starting out, uh, you always want to be a little bit more upright. Uh, you don't want to be all the way down. And here we are, we're in our four minute cool down. So one of the cool down exercises we, I usually do is I take it right down. You don't want to take it too far. So notice how it's just like you start getting quick noises if you go too far. So bring it back up a little bit. And I spin it out and I try to get up to about 100 maybe 105 uh, in the pedal stroke category. So it's a little bit faster than what we're doing. Uh, just allows a spin up the leg. If you're wondering how to stretch, I did a video that it is great to do after this video it with Jason. And I was the model stretch because I'm a little bit more flexible than he is. Uh, but that guy is going for his 14th Ironman, so he doesn't need to uh, worry about how flexible he is. The notice is like I'm not, I got a little bit of resistance, so I'm not popping up and down the seat. You don't want that. Notice how smooth and consistent this is. I could even maybe do a little bit more because I can feel that it's catching in certain spots. So it's always good to add a little bit more resistance. So if you're totally new here, this is going to be a completely new playlist targeted towards true hip exercises, or true hip workouts. So minute on, minute off. Keep it super simple, 20 minutes, very easy to follow. So please consider subscribing the bell you'll be notified when new videos come out also you can check out a lot of the other videos uh, we've got a lot of 30 minute spin classes for beginners and then it just goes up 35 40 45 50 and beyond so if you're new here consider subscribing comment down below because i love hearing from you guys where are you from you know what i love talking to people when they're from somewhere abroad. Um, I'm based in Victoria, BC, Canada. I plan on doing more videos uh, in other parts of the world, maybe get a new spin bike and start doing it everywhere. If you would like me to come visit your town or your city, comment down below, let me know where you're from, and who knows, maybe after COVID, I can start traveling and doing spin classes all over the world. So I would love for that to happen. COVID to go away. You like that? Give me a big thumbs up. Okay, so minute 10 here. Thank you so much, and if you like this video, check out these other videos.